Did you see that post? People are talking. Here's what's trending on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, in today's What's Trending, a man in China uh, went to the extreme to get his woman back after she dumped him. So the day question is, what is the craziest thing you ever did for love? Hit us up at 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. Mm, mm, mm. Well, a man in China, y'all, has gone viral on social media for spending the entire night kneeling in the rain to beg his ex-lover to take him back. Now, according to Yahoo News, the unidentified man spent 21 hours on his knees with a bouquet of flowers outside his ex-girlfriend's house from 1 p.m. to 10 a.m., y'all, the next day. Oh, my gosh, Brad. It was so sad. (laughs) People were walking by begging him to get up. Now, others were begging his ex to take him back. It was just so hard to watch. Now, when officers approached him, the man reportedly asked, is it illegal for me to kneel down here? If it's not illegal, please leave me alone. Now, the entire time he was out there, y'all, in the rain, his ex-girlfriend was nowhere to be seen. Father God. Father God. God. She didn't even know. (laughs) Father God. What did he do, though? It don't matter, but you got there on your knees begging like that. Bruh. Ooh, I've been there when I was in my twenty when I was like twenty one, twenty two, I've been there. I sat That's in the bushes hit. all night. Ooh, you said where all night? I sat in the bushes. Oh, bushes. I mean sure the statute is. of limitations is up on this my baby mom. <laughs> He's thirty four now, it don't matter. Look, I sat in the bushes all night because she told me she was uh that she wasn't with this dude and I wanted to see if she really had went out with this dude. And we had broke up, but I right. sat in the bushes all night outside her apartment <laughs> to see. And she pulled up with the dude, and he stayed. He was in there for about two hours. <laughs> Left out so when the stayed, sun came up. You so you there? stayed outside in the bushes while dude inside while he had beat. What? I can did see the beat? building moving. Hey Rick, I can see the building shaking. Oh, dog, dog, did he beat though? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Man. I'm in the bushes. Weeping softly, and then you can hear you can you can feel the vibration oh. coming through the brick while you outside in the bushes. <laughs> oh, and he's not killing your girl. Boy, I oh man, probably should just read left. her some poetry. That's all. But I was young though, so I, you know yeah. it, it is what it is. We all was lame at one time. Hey, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, now what, what was, was you outside of her window? I was I was in the bushes because I was hiding. I didn't want her to see right. that I was out. But there, when he so went in, in the there for two hours, what? Tell us what did you hear? I, I couldn't, I, I, I was kind of like, I didn't want to go by the window because I didn't really want to hear anything. I just oh, wanted yeah. to verify he probably, he, he that he was that. there so I could yeah. confront her when he left and say, see, you okay. lied to me. Okay, when you can't hear it, he got his foot on her neck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of yeah. can see that yeah, window shaking, put though. That, put that pillow up against her face. <laughs> Suffocation, what? Okay, does anyone else have something to contribute to this conversation? Let's I put just mine out move there. on from that. What about you, Gary? Oh, no, honey. I have never you ever done some crazy for no, love? Ma'am. Gary, no, ma'am. please. No, I've never been in love. You done told us stories. You went through the dude's phone. But that wasn't no love. Well, I guess it was love. The reunion tower in Dallas. You went through the dude's phone when he went to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I just found the number. Mm-hmm. Is that the one who smashed And then you went over to the dude. To the to the to the other uh uh to the to the house where the right. other person say who was gonna answer the door. Yeah. Oh, was that for love? I know that was for love. I just was being curious, honey. Mm-mm. Nah, but anyway, being crazy. That's what that is. <laughs> okay. Go and on. When, who came to the door, Gary? <laughs> she did. Yep. What she had on? She, came to the door. she had on a regular she, outfit, but I she just looked better than you. No, she that's why I was you. happy. In my head, I'm like, girl, she ain't cute. So, honey, it didn't matter, honey. I'm like, girl, you can have me. Was it don't sheet? that make it worse, though, when no. she don't look better than you? No, it don't make, her, make it better because I'm like, you leaving me for this? <laughs> so. nah. Rock, what did you what did you do for love, Rock? <laughs> Man, I mean, listen, this may sound crazy, but going grocery shopping with Crystal is, is like that. Because she take all day in a doggone store and she want me to come Ooh. with her. Just just come with I don't want to go. You're going to be there for three hours. Oof. What, reading the labels and, and oh, the ingredients? She, one of those, every aisle. she goes to every <laughs> aisle. She got to take her time. It's Ooh. like, man, come on. I'll meet you at the crib. <laughs> That's love God. right there, dog. <laughs> is that what Maria? That is? Yeah, I, I may have driven past the house in circles, you know, maybe like 37 times, <laughs> you know, just to see if the light was on. Maria, you no. got that crazy stuff. <laughs> Jumped over the fence and went around the back, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, comedian, sir. Y'all know, y'all know comedian, sir, Walt, that live in Birmingham, my homeboy? Yeah. Yes. He said he came outside to his house. His girl was uh, getting ready to go to work. He said his girl was sitting in this car. 
And he asked her, he said, uh, he said, it's how you get in my car. She said, through the engine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Wow. Oh, oh. What you what have you done? Rick? Yeah, really? Me? Yeah, what yeah. you done? Uh, I don't I, I walked home from a chick's house from all the way across town and put my life on I had to go through two projects uh, uh, to get home. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I did some walking, and then I had them little shoes on that I had bought from uh, uh, Journeys. Remember Journeys back in the day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the, my, the, my, the Miami Vice shoes from Journey, I thought I was sharp. Stayed over there too late and had to walk home at 11 o'clock. And I didn't get home until like 2.30. My grandma Ooh. had that hook on that screen, though. So that means you can't, <laughs> can't, you can't, you can't use your door key. When your grandma put that hook on that screen, though, yeah. then you have to take your key and punch a little hole in the screen and stick your finger in there and take that hook off that door. <laughs> then she wake up and how you get in my damn house? <laughs> how you get in my Do You put a cotton ball in the screen to the... uh. Housing authority come and replace the screen on, Ooh, on the screen. Yeah. Cotton ball. Real, real, Brad, real quick, did you do anything crazy for love? Well, yeah. Um, uh, my 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 wife now had uh given up on uh I guess seeking after me or whatever, and she said she came to Atlanta a couple times and I ghosted her, so she ended up moving on without telling me. So I stalked her Instagram for probably like a year because she had ended up getting a boyfriend. So I stalked her Instagram for like a year and waited for them to break up, and then I was back in the DMs like, "Hey, how you doing? You okay?" <laughs> and then we that and that's how we ended up getting back together because she had. Left me alone, child. I wouldn't have had the blessing I got now if I would have gave up. You don't they, give up on something you want. But That's Dave, right. get that get that Freddie Jackson. We're gonna play just a snippet of Freddie Jackson. <laughs> have you ever loved somebody? Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Will somebody you love you. Yes, yes. Oh, let's go to the phone. What have you done Ooh. for love? Good morning. Okay, the craziest thing I done for love was I drove from Los Angeles, California to Winston Salem, North Carolina. To take the girl to take the girl out on a date. Now, when I got there, I liked her, and I asked her to come back with me, and we got married, and that was 20 years ago. The craziest thing I did for love is writing over a thousand letters, trying to show and prove my love. I went and registered to vote when I was 21 to talk to an older woman. She's 14 years older than me. She told me I had to go register to vote in order for her to, well, to talk to me, and I'm still with her today. When I was 19 and crazy, I jumped on the hood of his car, Ooh. rode it all the way to another town just to go with him. <laughs> Yeah, oh. girl, I'm 57 now. I don't do that <laughs> no more. <laughs> yeah, I done did the hood on the car thing before. Oh. Uh, okay, I, did, I definitely. Oh. Yeah, I went to Columbus, Ohio. I flew all the way up there to see a chick, and I was staying in her apartment. She ghosted me like she left me up in her apartment. It was gone. Wow. And uh, I got on up and got got away to the airport and got on out of there. Never spoke to her again. Damn, yeah, man, we did some crazy. Crazy stuff. Look, if, hey, if you can get through, hit us up on our Facebook page. I don't think nothing. Uh, is, uh, I think who had the worst story on here today? What was the worst? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Special K hiding Kate in the bushes. bushes. Hiding in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, hiding in the bushes. And that, and that dude was in there. For, uh, <laughs> did you time it? It was it was like exactly two hours. It was, about, it was about two hours because they had left the club about probably about three something. And he when he left, the sun was coming up. And he oh, looked yeah. happy. He looked happy when he was walking in his car. Was he staggering when he went out to the car? No, nah, he, he, I mean, he was good. He, I mean, he probably took a shower and everything. Was the shirt tucked in? Was the shirt tucked in? <laughs> nah, he, uh, I just went to the door and banged on it and, and, and told her, I, kn- I know what, what you were doing. She and what she say? She said, and? <laughs> and so right. at what point did you give up on, like, I'm done? When my son was about five. <laughs> Man, bye, bye, bye. More Rick's Smiley Morning Show coming up. 